This is the nudge from Watofo Squonk Mod. Uh, we're just going to do a review on the mod today, not the RDA. This was not a kit, it was just a mod, so that's the only bit we're going to review. So here it is, this is the Nudge Squonk Mod, currently it does not have the Squonk Bottle or the battery installed, we'll just take a look on the outside here, it has the nice, uh, almost like carbon effect uh, markings on it, which is, I understand, just a sticker, it's uh, not actually carbon, it's made of it, although it is very light, I believe it's plastic, at the bottom of the front there you'll see it says Nudge, and we've got a fire button there, nice and springy fire button, with a bit of beveling around the edge there for a bit of grip and it's just a squeeze there is a f safety feature on this button where if you twist it all the way around like so it will not fire it's stuck you can see that's not going and then twist it all the way back and once again it fires okay at the bottom we've got the watofo logo there it looks a bit like a pentagram uh, it looks quite funky on the bottom of the device there. Uh, so when you're taking the vape off it, that's what people will see. And they'll think you're in the Illuminati or something similar. At the top, we've got the 510 connector with the squonk pin. Uh, obviously, that goes right through. And if we open her up, you can see the nice big magnet there in the middle, which holds this together very well. There is quite a bit, so if I've got it, there it will just pop it in and like that just bangs it right in so that's a nice big magnet holding it you'll spot this big green thing right here this is actually a 30 amp fuse Let's see if we can get it to focus it does say 30 on it and if it'll focus in there you can just about make out 30 on it that is a bit of additional protection in addition to your, to your uh, locking fire switch uh, you see just here is where the squonk bottle will fit uh, onto the squonk pin and under here you'll have your wiring for your button and anything else that's needed there. I don't think there's much else under there but I've not taken it apart to see. Uh, your battery will fit in here. This takes a single 18650 and you'll notice that there are no markings anywhere to indicate which way round the battery should be fitting. Uh, from experience, this sort of raised portion here would be the positive and the spring loaded would be the negative. So we'll just get our squonk bottle. Uh, this squonk bottle is loaded with juice, so I'm going to be a little bit careful getting it in. No, nope. This is not the easiest thing to do when you're on camera, but there we go. Just slot it on and there we go. And I got a bit of juice there, so that's all right. Okay. And then we'll get our 16850 and we'll just pop that in as well. Number positive down and it just pops in. Now you'll notice that there was no ribbon for the battery either. So the same and the back panel does not come off. So getting your battery out, uh, I can't get my finger in there to get the battery out. So it is a case of knocking it to get it out. And that's loosened it out and I can now get my finger in but we're not going to take it out just now. That's obviously not the best idea to be banging a 18650 around like that, so we're not really wanting to. And now we'll just get this on. And there we go. It's all back, ready to fire up. You'll notice with mine, though, I've got a bit of give on the door there. It does move and make a bit of a rattle. It's not the end of the world, but it's a bit awkward there. Uh, Positioning of the door is pretty decent, and there is plenty of room for me to get my thumb in there to squonk. Okay, so we're going to go back up top, put the RDA back on, and give it a bit of a vape, and give a bit more information on this. So we're back up top, and yeah, she's cooking good. Uh, you'll notice the green tip on there, that's because I've put my pulse on here. Uh, my pulse is a pulse 24 and you will see the gold at the edge there. That's because we're getting some overhang. Now, it will run like this, but you've got that bit of overhang there. Uh, that's because of those curved edges. If they weren't curved, I think it would probably be flush. So that's why it is better to be using a 22 millimeter. 
RDA with this and that's what I've got here with the serpent I'll pop that back on here and you'll see that it sits completely flush on the device now so there we go that is now sitting absolutely flush no overhang there's a nice little bit of gap to the edges there and vaping good again so a couple of things to cover uh, I did come with the user manual and within the user manual despite the thickness of it it's quite a thick one there are only really three pages you've got your initial page telling you language and then the layout of the device showing what you where all the different parts are then we have the next page which shows how to use your squonk bottle how to operate the locking key and the page about battery safety then we move on to the next page and it's back into the next language and so on so nowhere actually in here does it show you where to put which way up to put the battery uh, as i showed in the download it doesn't show it on the device either so that's a bit of a bit of a downfall there with tofu that should really be part of it uh, also within the box you get a second squonk bottle nice and squonky there it's a soft silicon like bottle it's not as soft as some but it's definitely not as hard as others it's a nice in between it's a very good squonk bottle resistance there you also got a little bag of goodies in there you'll see there's another load of the fuses in there 30 amp fuses there's four additional ones of those so if you do blow one you've got a backup to hand and you've got another pipe for the squonk bottle now what's missing here between these two is you've got your squonk bottle and you've got your pipe but you don't have the metal connectors that sit on the top of the bottle so once again with tofu you miss the miss the trick here because there you see on the bottle you've got your metal connectors that's where you screw in so that you've got your e-juice in there now without that it means that if you're going to change the squonk bottle you need to get that off and put it onto the new bottle so really they've half done the job there this that bottle should be complete if it's being included so that's a bit of a downside again that being said uh we'll move on to the pros and cons of this device pros well one of the big pro is the way this looks uh the effect of the carbon effect stickers i think the stickers that are on here i don't think it's actually worked to the material but that does look really good the gold effect on the button and on the bottom there that also looks good matches up with the 510 uh, if i had a black or even if i had a gold looking uh, rda on here it'd probably really stand out more uh, unfortunately uh, it was only a steel one that i had available to me for this but it does still look pretty decent there Another pro is that locking on the button, a safety feature, you know me, I like my safety features. That's a good one for that, it stops you misfiring when you've got it in your pocket or anything. There's also the fuse, that is a big safety in there. Uh, that means that you can't have a short circuit, that will short out and that will stop any issues that you're having there. That's really good, nice thinking there with Tofo, nice execution. I've not had a fuse go on me yet, so I'm hoping from what I've seen, it is all working. I've not done what I've not had it actually go on me, so I've not had to replace it yet. Um, otherwise, really good device from all the pros. There are a few cons with it. I've got on mine, I showed you in the download. That's a bit of a con there. Uh, the squonk bottle and the lack of that's a bit of a con. You can't see how much juice is in there. That is a big con. You can't see. Uh, the, the, the squonk bottles may feel nice, but you can't actually see what's in there. So you've got no way of knowing how much juice is actually in your squonk bottle uh, without opening it up. And that can be a bit awkward. Uh, filling up a squonk bottle when you're out and about is not the easiest thing to do. You can get the refill from the, through the 510 bottles now, so that's making it easier. But if you're just filling direct into your bottle, that can be quite hard. Uh, the back panel doesn't come off so that means when you're taking the battery out I did try and show you this in down low but uh, still not out there we go that's how you get your battery out and that is a bit of a pain uh, being it is a mechanical mod you can't charge it in the device you would have to take it out no matter what which I would recommend anyway but it's a 
little ribbon in there to help pull it out, that's a bit of a problem. There is a way around it, you can put a bit of sellotape around your 18650, leave a little tab on the end and then you've got something to grip hold of and pull it out. That would be the way that I'm going to change this so that I can do it myself. But if not, it's the knockout method like that. Always do it on your hand, make sure you catch the battery. That's <laughs> the way to do that. So that's another bit of a con there. Another con with the battery, it doesn't tell you anywhere, user manual or within the actual device, where, which way around to put the battery. So that is, again, another con. And when you're dealing with a mech mod, you can't really have a con like that because it is a bit of a pain. Uh, other than that, it's a fairly decent device. Uh, it's got lots of pros for it. It's got a few cons. Overall, it is good. So would I recommend this device? Yes, I would. In a market that's got quite a few different options there, you've got your Pulse 24, you've got your, well, your Pulse 24 kit, you've got your Athena kit, you've got your Boxer, you've got loads of these little squonk mods in the same sort of price range coming out. This one, with its added safety features of the fuse, of the locking button, even though it's a bit fiddly to work, this does have a few advantages over them. So overall, Yes, I would recommend this. I give it a thumbs up. It's in my rotation of Squonk Mods. Uh, you know I like my Squonk Mods, so this is one that I would definitely recommend. That price point on it of only £20, and I'm sure you can get it lower if you look. Definitely a bonus in it. In it. So that has been the Nudge mod that I would recommend. That has been the review like comment share subscribe i do reviews i do daily vlogs no this is not necessarily a vapor channel but there is a lot of vape content here i talk about them a lot and i do the reviews follow subscribe i'm on twitter at one purple mongoose that's at one purple mongoose with the number one and vape on